Hello everyone, and, wel and welcome once again to our second edition of MWE Satin. I am owner of MWE and your commentator, Mutatron, or Muta Koji. And sadly, I am joined once again by the Patriot. Oh, uh, I do not hear American music on my ears right now. That woman needs to be deported back to Afghanistan. Go back to the Arabians over there. And by the way, Chris Kennedy is going to be Russell who I am going to manage. So shut up, no Budo KG, whatever your name is. I am here, the host of the show, of called Chris Kennedy Show. That's the name of the show. Screw your satin. It's the Chris Kennedy Show. I'm waiting for you to be done. And, and by the way, that lady, that lady in which I was about to say to the MWE fans was Sophia, right? And her opponent coming down to the ring is the Japanese blue jacket, Sakura Kudo. Now this is a return match from the last MWE Satin, when on Sophia's debut she defeated Sakura. And now tonight, Sakura demands a rematch against the Irish Banshee. American in this match, so now we've got two un-Americans, I don't care, there's no Chris Kennedy, there's no Patriotist, there's no me, I don't care, so uh. sit here in utter silence and say I am not here, you need to go piss off somewhere else because this is the Chris Kennedy show host the Patriot, the all-American, American, American. Hmm, well anyways, the referee calling for the bell, these two ladies, oh man, not bad of a drop kick by Sakura, Sophia rolling out of the way there and put in a drop kick of her own. I mean, Sophia on her last MWE Satin, I mean, she put in a great effort against the Japanese Blue Jacket, Sakura Kudo. But in my humblest opinion, if she keeps this up, just maybe she might, she might be in contention for a shot at either the MWE Women's Championship or the MWE Extreme Women's Championship, which is held by Phoenix Blacksmith. Great effort. Good. Great effort when it comes to Chris Kennedy. It is just perfection. Perfection to the finest. And then speaking of Chris Kennedy, earlier on during the intro, we got in, we got interrupted. More like a, a an airwave pirating type of um, promo by Chris Kennedy. As a matter of fact, were you and um, Chris Kennedy um, responsible for that airwave pirating that just happened? Chris Kennedy saving MWE. Uh, Chris Kennedy needs to save herself from me if she ever if she ever wants a job here in MWE ever again. What are you talking about? She can't be fired. It's under her contract. It says you will not fire this woman because yep, she's Yep, referee referee going for the, for the count. One, two, only got two. Sophia was this close to getting the win. I mean she was this close. But as for Chris Kennedy, she needs to worry about saving herself than saving MWE. Which is my wrestling company. Yes, your wrestling company is suffering dearly because you do not have talent. Happily, she feels like Chris Kennedy. The perfect Chris Kennedy. I mean, what is wrong with her? She is beautiful. She is freaking athletic. Everything about her is perfect. Uh, except for the fact that she disguised herself as a as a lowly diva trying to get into NWE. She used a, de a devious um, tactic, and, and and for some particular reason, I have to admit it, and the MWE fans have to admit it, but she had the wool pulled over our eyes. We didn't even know it was Chris Kennedy until it was too late. Exactly. That is why she is smart, she is cunning, and it was smart thinking. But it's called strategy, my friends. We strategized that all together so that we could bring her back. Save the MWH. It needs to be rescued. You need a superhero like Chris Kennedy. And Chris, Chris Kennedy is no superhero. She's more of a villainous like Catwoman. She is more like Catgirl. She's more like Catwoman or the Cheetah. Yeah, and you're more like Captain Underpants. Now shut up. I don't know what you're talking about, but anyway, here's um Sophia. With a leg drop onto the back of the neck of Sophia. I mean, not Sophia, but Sakura Kudo. Steroids! 
no steroids. Anyway, oh, oh man, Sakurakuda going for the pin here. Only got two. Man, both of these ladies putting in a great effort. I mean, you have to admit it. They are putting in 100% here. And here's Sakura Kudo putting in her patented finisher. A Patriot Act! No, it's the Kudo Driver. What's a Kudo? What's a Kudo supposed to be? It, it, it sounds like a household appliance. You should, you should learn your wrestling history. The Kudo Driver was was created by, wait a second, she's going for the cover, referee counting it, one, two, two, only got two, Sakura Kudo was this close to getting the win with her finisher, the Kudo Driver, which was created by Japanese female wrestler, Megumi Kudo. Who is that? I've never heard of her, she doesn't matter, she's not American. She is a Japanese wrestler, a very well-known Japanese wrestler, by the way. Ooh, referee counting it again. One, only got one because Sophia was able to get the shoulders up. Man, Sophia's in big trouble. If she ever wants to get a win in this match, you gotta put in some more offense, like that arm bar there. And yes, later on tonight, your hero, or should I say my worst nightmare, Chris Kennedy, will be going up against another MWE diva who steps up to the plate and maybe putting Chris Kennedy in her place. You might as well just call this Chris Kennedy win. The match should be called Chris Kennedy defeat whoever that jabroni is that she's going to be for the, the pathetic, they do not stand a chance. And I'm going to be in full support for the mm. greatest women's wrestler of all time. Yeah, I can't believe you support that woman. Anyway, that was the Irish curse back backbreaker on Sakura Kudo. But Sakura was able to get... Um, was able to um, sweep off of um, Sophia's feet. I don't know why, but she was trying to go for a finisher, but Sakura stops her in her tracks. But anyway, um, but anyway, also on the last MWE Satin, Penny Stokes, our current MWE Women's Champion, defeated Makoto Ishikawa. But at the end, Black Arachnia and Envy, the Divacons, appeared from out of nowhere and attacked Penny Stokes from behind. Uh -huh. Anyways, go on. No, she's not gone. Penny Stokes is here tonight. So are the Diva Cons and Makoto Ishikawa. But the question is, is Makoto Ishikawa in allegiance with the Diva Cons? Is Chris Kennedy involved in that? If not, I don't care! You know, Chris Kennedy doesn't have to be involved in any every alliance. Anyway, referee counting it. Sophia was able to get her shoulders up for the one count. Sakura Kudo, I guess she's about to go for it. No, reversal. After reversal, these two ladies. Enziguri to the back of the head of Sophia. Yes, indeed. Sophia is one tough Irish chick. Who, who, who I believe was trained or is the brother of Seamus. Oh, Mr. Krusty Krab, lobster head. Oh, -ho! that's another pale un-American that has never seen a tanning bed. You better, you better hope Seamus doesn't, um, doesn't hear you say that. Oi, Patriot, don't be insulting me, fella. I don't want you to call me an un-American and a lobster head. What, what is he gonna do? He, 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 he's scared. He's pale, and he's never, he, he looks like that, that, that beeper guy from the, the, the Muppets. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell Seamus short. I mean, he is a former WWE champion. But we're not talking about Sheamus, we're talking about the MWE Divas. These two ladies who, who are putting in everything they got in, in this match. Anyway, two, only got two. Another close, close call for Sakura Kudo. I know we got more matches still to come. But one thing certain, Sophia, ooh, man with that alley oop. Boom, boom, boom. Alley poop more like it because she's full of it. I don't know about that, but anyway, going for a finisher, the unlucky clover leaf. Is Sakura Kudo going to tap? No, she was able to get out of that submission hole with Gusto. Uh, Gusto, what is with your slang? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just got that from somewhere. But anyway, ooh, springboard moonsault on the Sakura Kudo. Man, that's that's got to be awesome. Both of these ladies putting in a great effort, but they gotta be plum tired. See, if this was Chris Kennedy, she would still have the energy to go for another five hours! 
Oh boy, enough with Chris Kennedy over here. Ah. And, and enough with you and your pink dress. I'm still not gonna pay attention. Still not gonna pay attention to that because because um because of the fact that I um decimated wrestling Jesus at final apex. Oh, whoever deny it, it. Oh, I'm not denying anything. Like I said, that that guy in the pink dress is not me. It must have been some homeless black guy. That kind of looked like you, so you're a homeless black guy. Good job. Oh, I'm not homeless. I'm black, but I ain't homeless. Ooh, man, diving elbow drop by by Sophia. Man, both of these ladies must be straight up plum tired. Guess they're about to go for the Irish curse backbreaker, but gets countered by Sakura Kudo. No, Sakura Kudo. Oh, try and go for a springboard. Ah, you missed, you botch, you try and go for a springboard crossbody, but missed. But missed, I know, I know. Anyway, Hurricane Rana by Sophia. She really wants to finish this off once and for all and put an end to this match. But Sakura is not going to let Sophia get the opportunity. Ooh, ooh, not bad of a counter there into a pin. Referee counting it. One, two, only got two. Sakura's not gonna let Sophia get a win in this match. She really wants to end this with only Sakura getting the win and not so and not Sophia. Okay, ref, ring the bell so that we can bring Chris Kennedy out here. Come on, let's go! I can't rush the referee. And besides, he's ignoring you and focusing on these two ladies here. Irish curse backbreaker by Sophia. Letting the crowd know this is the end. Signaling for the end. Irish whipping her to the corner. And again, Sakura with the reversal. Ooh, putting her upside down for a tree of woe. I don't know what she got planned for Sophia, but it's not going to be good. It's not going to be pretty. And I guess... No, she's, no, Sakura's not leaving. And I guess Sophia gets hit with that spinning wheel kick by Sakura Kudo. And the referee's counting it. One, two... And Sakura Kudo gets the three and the win over Sophia. What was that? That was pathetic. We need Chris Kennedy out here to decimate these two children. Would right you now. stop? Anyway, yeah. Sophia put in a great effort, but in the end, the Japanese Blue Jacket came out victorious. For big ups to both of these ladies who put on a great exhibition here tonight, here on MW Satin. And don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back with more action here on MWE Satin. So don't go anywhere, or else you will miss it all. And you will behave yourself when we come back, right, Patriot? Hey, MWE Satin, scratch that out and call it the Chris Kennedy Show right now. I will not leave until that changes.